Everyone here. Um, today is Sunday, the 4th of uh, June 2017. I'm just putting together a um, itinerary for the trip to uh, Britain, UK and um, Europe for the four Paramount Chiefs or maybe three. If Selwyn Clark can't go, then there's three going and myself four. Um, if he goes, then he's the oldest. If he can make it on the plane, um, we'll have a doctor with him. And for us as well, that'll make six to go. So I've uh, made provision for six, but uh, cost it up for four of us on the trip. So you'll see the costings of that. Uh, it's for convenience sake of um, what I intend doing and being transparent to everyone um, off my shoulders, so to speak. Um, so um, uh, with that, I'll just have a, a little rundown on it and um, show you before I put it online uh, with this video. I'll just go to where it is, right there. I'll switch the video on to the um, actual um, budget that's to go from uh, Auckland, uh, staying in a motel here overnight, and then um, get a flight uh, direct to Heathrow Airport in London. <coughs> and from there, we uh, jump on a, a um, um, motor caravan, that's a six berth caravan, and head off to um, Devon Port in England and um, have some um, um, celebration there with the flag here to be raised on King William um, the Fourth Memorial in William Yard, that's the old Navy Yards. And uh, once we've done that and um, left the flag up there, um, had the um, meetings with the um, Navy there, then go to um, Plymouth uh, Courthouse, the Magistrate Courthouse, and the County Sheriff will meet there to raise the flag. Uh, so the costings from uh, there, through there with the um, um, motor caravan and also a stay overnight in Plymouth and overnight in uh, Devon if we have to. Uh, so from uh, Plymouth we, um, we head off back to um, Westminster. Uh, that'll be the 19th. So we've landed in London on the 16th and 17th we're on um, um, Devon and on the 18th we're in Plymouth and um, uh, hope to have um, um, a hearing there for um, King Ernest Augustus to put him into Westminster with the sheriff in the county there and so from uh, Plymouth we go to um, travel uh, back on the motor caravan to um, Westminster. We stay in Waterloo around there. There's a motel there or hotel and we're staying there for the next three days uh, going to the Admiralty building and meeting with the First Lord of the Sea, uh, Sir Philip Jones, and um, meet uh, then on the 19th uh, which is a Tuesday, and on the Wednesday we meet with um, Theresa May, the Prime Minister of Britain, UK, that's if she's still in there as Prime Minister, I think she will be, but um, um, that's our schedule of uh, expense, of cost it out, and um, so we we'll, um, uh, get through those formalities there with the government as well, and um, uh, our position as Paramount Chief Partners in business with the Navy and with the government there in Westminster and Magistrate Court. On the financial side of things, you'll see 
but we're using the pound note as a debtor instrument or we're the creditor with the British Navy, our partner, to recover all the debt from the Crown Corporation here in New Zealand and to audit the accounts of HM Treasury in England and here the um, New Zealand Treasury Office and the um, Queen Victoria Trust. So we're doing all of that while we're there with the Chiefs. They're the paramount chief commercial landowners now of this country, New Zealand, the whole country. And we're there to claim the Moriori Manukau uh, native title uh, put together in Devon, in Edinburgh, Scotland, um, Land Registry Office, uh, Land Trans... <coughs> transfer office uh, in the days of 1820, 1830 to 1834 period. We're only going to 1834. This flag was the flag of New Zealand. We're cutting off right there. And in particular, we're going to the St. Mary's Church in England as well to claim the title of the birth certificates on my own land in 18. 31 in Tiki Tiki. We're going to do that at the same time with Manahi, uh, Parapara Mohiri. He's the um, Parapara Moriori um, descendant, the bloodline descendant, um, to um, Mohi Manakau and um, uh, Paramount Chief uh, and his ancestor Terawaikato Wharaherere Manakau in Edinburgh, England, and Cambridge, England, where he put the made a title together in the Land Transfer Conveyance Office, Lawyer's Office of William uh, Simons, uh, Lieutenant of the 23rd Regiment Navy Magistrate Court as the creditor or bank of our business as partners. We are the other partner missing in that contract private. Um, but we are going there to claim the inheritance of King William IV and his um, ancestors, King William III, um, um, King Solomon and um, uh, King Solomon and his mines, and also King um, Solomon, uh, King um, um, William the Conqueror. William the Conqueror. So all those kings were claiming the inheritance of that fortune that was consolidated into the um, King William IV uh, Reformed Acts of Westminster Parliament, 1830-1837 period, and also King William III's 1652-1703 Acts of Westminster Parliament as well. Okay, so we're putting all those together and I've costed out the trips right through to um, Edinburgh on the airfares um, um, for the uh, chiefs. Uh, it might be a little too long to travel, limit the travel on the um, camper van for 13 days. We'll be hiring it for and when they fly back to New Zealand on the around about the um, 23rd, uh, then I'll drop the motor caravan back at the airport and fly straight off to France um, to do the tag pay uh, bank, Moai Powerhouse Bank, set up the tag pay and the press the shop um, gateways and blue, uh, blue snap gateways of the banking system and um, company promotions of products through their companies in France. And so I'll go to uh, the um, Brussels, to the World Court. Um, that's supposed to happen with the Chiefs and myself. Depends on how much travel they can go through. And otherwise I'll be going there myself to um, take these um, documents of the writ warrants into the World Court, our court. That's our court, our partner, King William III's land, and also the court itself is our jurisdiction of Admiralty, Martial Financial Law. 
Uh, so I'm going to spin this around now, the camera, and put it here, so you can see there. I've got three uh, computers down here. I'm just hooking those other ones up at some stage, but I've been working off this one. And those two are fast, very fast Lenovo's, so we can have three going at the same time, because I use a lot of space and um, computers for this business, um, so we get up and running. Now this is the travel budget, as you can see, the flights here, 40 grand, um, um, four of us here. So here you can see the costs on the right hand side, a column that I'm adding up there. The columns here are just other um, costings that I've added, and the loan of one million. I'm um, getting that um, for this trip, uh, although it's around about 4.2 million, um, just to go there and do everything I want to. So here we can see the hire of the motor caravan here for 13 days, and the um, rental office in London, in Scotland, London, or oh, in London at least anyway. We'll have to add more if we go to Scotland and set up, if we've got time to do it. And uh, also the tidal turbine plans in Denmark. I've put out 100,000 for the design engineering. Uh, just that's just the first um, uh, first um, uh, part uh, deposit. And so, um, as you can see, some of the costs of incidentals, uh, hotels and stuff there. And um, Auckland rental the overnight um, where is it um, Auckland hotel here thousand that's just for overnight before we fly out and the other ones will come up and stay in the hotel um, and then we go down all these costs here are all the tidal energy equipment and the um, setting up the world government and also the office equipment in Auckland and in London, the office equipment and here the licenses for what we're going to be doing with the Tidal Energy and um, hire the lawyer, this is just interim amount for the lawyer and the accountants, um, PricewaterhouseCoopers is probably going to carry on with Gowi in Denmark on the Tidal Energy side because they've got all the plans ready to go and uh, they've got that here in Auckland in the um, PricewaterhouseCoopers building. I put that together with Chris Taylor um, in 2012 ready to go when I was on my way to England then and so we got um, high accountant, we've got um, staff to pay once we get going, we've got our crew in um, Scotland and we've got um, the little Gordons there and Matt Taylor in London and um, um, Brighton. So he and his wife will jump in there, so we'll boost those up at some stage, but that's just to start off with. And then we come down here to the Boeing aircraft, I had one cost it out, a 24 seat, it's an earlier model, and it's 850,000, I can get that one and it's ready to go, I just have to get the pilot, so I've got um, that added in as well, and the Agasta 11 seat helicopter for here to get around, 750,000, that's ready there to pick up, there's plenty of them, so um, that's the costing I've got on that. Um, passports, we got British passports when we get there with the diplomatic immunity um, for us as we were then um, British citizens will become British citizens straight away with the um, authority of the Paramount Chiefs um, commercial landowners titles. My powerhouse bank in London to set it up in France 100,000 and the My Powerhouse Marketing. We're going to throw this amount into the marketing straight away. And the My Tidal Turbine Company in Denmark. The, the uh, plans again, a further, a second 
instalment of 100,000. We already got 100,000 in to start off in the second uh, the assignment, and it'll it'll cost out at um, at least um, half a million for that, just to get that off the ground with the platforms in the sea for Ranfully Bank here and Scotland or in Denmark we'll be putting them up there. So these cost things here are just add-ons, mobile phones and that. I haven't added any of these on to the main cost. 20,000 uh, TV ads and um, business. Um, Cowie design, 100,000 another 100,000. Flights to France. It's going to cost a lot for the uh, tidal turbines because the first pro project at um, Ranfrey Bank is around about five billion and uh, twenty-five billion at the most in New Zealand. Uh, that's the earmark budget I've got. Twenty twenty billion. Um, so uh, flights to France. I've got to go to France and Denmark. Twenty grand and hundred thousand down here. Company's house, oh no, it's company house, company house, shares, that's the shares, set up the share company, the Moai shares, and um, the main um, company is one of a trillion shares in New Zealand and one billion shares in each of 250 countries. Uh, so now we've got the motor caravan costs for fuel, road user charges in Britain and Europe, we're travelling around in Europe as well. Office furniture, 100,000. Um, oh, sorry, computer, data, 250 states. That's to set up the shares in the 250 countries, 100,000. That's staff, right? We are, we're taking on managers for these positions. And then we get down to here, three bedroom house is 1.2 million in uh, a two bedroom house um, flat um, in the main part of. Um, Piccadilly in uh, Britain. We're going right into the shopping centre or in Trafalgar, Trafalgar a two bedrooms, 1.2 million. Um, so that's best to go straight into that um, if we get more, borrow more money. But um, I don't I envisage borrowing any more money after this first lot. Um, my powerhouse bank account, we'll have 100,000 100, in the bank, uh, 21 business, my 21. Business purchase pending share offer uh, funds other three three point nine oh two million altogether with all these costs outside of the one million we're borrowing. Okay, so that's a um, hundred thousand we've added on there for the bank account as an expense. So all the expenses are down this side for now against a million. So from that we have the itinerary trip here. Set for 15th of July 2017 next month, book into Auckland Rayland Motel in Lakewood Drive, Manukau City, transfer to Auckland um, Airport, and then away we go. The higher the motor caravan when we get to Heathrow Airport, London, we just jump on it and I'll drive it away. Um, drive to Devon, stay in William Yard Motel, so and on it goes. Further talks with um, London, arrive in Auckland, Thursday 2nd of August, that's the end of the trip there. Um, purpose of trip priorities, take four Paramount Chiefs to London to claim the Manukau Company, Moriori Manukau Commercial Land Ownership. Right, those are all some of the things we're going there, for reasons why we're going there, for as to borrowing the money. Financial plan budget for New Zealand, Paramount Chiefs Commercial Headquarters, Cook Street, Auckland, New Zealand. We're seizing Cook Street and we're setting up there for a three billion project to go up straight up. Three billion right here. Cook Street, three billion. That's how much I've put for that whole building. It's going down into the uh, ground, right down to sea level and up the other way. 113 stories above the ground. That's the plan that they had to build there before we came along and jammed it all up and it never got to get built and they, although they had the plans to build 113 storeys higher and bigger than the Sky Tower so we're going straight into that after seizing it we're going straight into putting a contract out to China to build it for 3 billion okay uh, so I've got all the plans ready for that 
and then we've got um, commercial trading bank London France Scotland imp imp implementation so we've got cost of things here that's the balance of the budget that's what's left in the account after one million that we're borrowing um, the expenses are down the bottom here added up there 337030 that's how much it cost for the round trip for 13 days um, and a bit longer for me but that's for the Paramount Chiefs to be um, travelling around with me and setting up everything for our business that should have been done long ago we're still in contract with them and we're going there to reassert our authority as the inheritors of all the king's wealth and all the king's inheritance as a second party to him King William III, King William IV and St. Patrick's Church Order and St. Mary's Church birth certificates titles to the lands here and around the world so there we go that's all the costings so there's the expense cost 337.030 337 um, 337,000 oh, 337,000 oh, 30 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 oh, British Lepcat A2 passenger aircraft purchase orders 20 billion. Okay, we're getting the big figures here. 20 billion. And 20 billion to pay the British military, Pacific Islands, to protect the Pacific Islands, Maui Crown, Federal State Commonwealth bill. We're going to write the pound note out for the military to recover all that debt, 970 million trillion trillion debt owed to us. Okay? So the amount of the first 10 years of the British, British, Britain, UK, my, my Crown Paramount Government is 10 billion. Okay, that's, these are running costs. Um, uh, so um, we've just got 30 billion just there and another 20 billion for the British Lapcat that we're going to provide the uh, fuel for, the rocket engine and jet engine fuel. For those aircraft and also we're going to be owning them as well the British Lapcat the first passenger planes running on hydrogen bulk hydrogen from seawater <coughs> and so we have to total amount for the Maui tidal turbine project plans Kaui design engineers and engineers in Denmark is 500,000 that's just the design plans I've been through this with them before in 2012 before 2012 and um, been in contact with them uh, for a period of time. The same as um, the hydrogen um, um, rocket um, um, fuel cells in um, Taiwan, um, Bubatin. I've got uh, a pending contract with him as well to provide the tanks for solid metal hydrogen there. Um, so here's the loan, investment funding loan for one million Using dollars for repayment terms of agreement between Sue and the Cora and John Wanoa. The loan repaid subject to recovery of lands inside the Maui Crown King William IV Trust, the writ of execution warrant, that's the warrant I showed you. A loan was required for three million, reduced to one million, as reflected in our budget amounted to four point two three nine oh three oh million. That's how much it should have costed to just set up this business. And so we have cut down to one million and I've split out the costs right down to the minimum, bare minimum. But all the things I do are very expensive. They're running in the billions, especially the military, which is our business. Why I'm taking the two military men there, uh, King Itaurua, Chief uh, Paramount, and um, Bund uh, Bund not Bundy, um, um, Selwyn Clark, um, military um, married battalion. And uh, those two are our key to the military flag, this flag here, the military flag, uh, that is our protectorate.
for the British military and our trading bank commercial land ownership title to the well. Okay, so there we go. That's the end of the writ, uh, end of the um, <coughs> itinerary um, for the 13 days. And I'll be there till the 3rd of August from the 15th of July. Um, just a little longer, they'll fly back ahead of me as soon as they sign the documents. And if they wanted to stay on, then they can stay on with me if they want for the duration. But I've got a lot of other business matters to take care of um, where I'm going into the um, British um, um, Boeing um, aircraft company to make a deal with them with the hydrogen from the Moai tidal turbine uh, power projects that we're going to be implementing in Margate off the uh, coast of um, uh, Dover in England and uh, between there and somebody's calling out to me and there and um, France um, so that's what um, we're putting this together for and um, this is to so that you can see that we're having a meeting up in um, Waitangi with um, I've just got a letter here from an email from Manahi I'll just go and check here Manahi and he sent me a email oh where's it gone um, Manahi, um, hang on, I'm going to try and find, I had him there somewhere, here, uh, where's his, I've lost it, that's what I've just sent him, the latest, send the itinerary, I just sent out, I'll send the itinerary to him, but he just sent me a lot of emails from other people who he has sent me his email from Hinefare Harawira. Where is it gone? Um, oh, it must be gone into rubbish, trash. So some of the things going to trash. Hi Joyce says no. Patience no. No. Not there. Um. That's two days, man. Um. That's money here. Hang on, I'm just trying to find. Oh, here he is, here he is, I think, no, I saw it, I'm always losing things from money, how I managed to do that? No, I lost it. Lost it. These are all my emails to Manahi. I'm just waiting. I'm just trying to find his latest email to me. Can't find it. Anyway, I won't worry about it. I just got a whole heap of email from him. No, I can't see it anywhere. Inbox. No, we'll leave it. 
or leave it. Anyway, I'm just going to finish off this video. It's getting over late now. And, um, fortunately, uh, we've got um, Sue Nakora in Gisborne um, saying nice things about me. And Kingy saying nice things about me. That's nice to know. So we're going to put this into action now and force this government here its hand at who it is and whose authority it's using and Bill English is in Samoa at the moment prancing around as a chief a uh, um, Matai chief but that's not going to make any difference to us and this flag it's not going to make any difference in the Pacific with our titles and this plan this great hydrogen plan that's going right through the Pacific and the world with this flag. We had the right to go right through the Pacific with this flag of Admiralty as the jurisdiction of commerce over all the other commerce titles from Britain. America is getting its authority from Britain from this flag and we're there to stop the racket. We are there to stop the racket of the fraud and corruption on our lands and on all the other native lands in the world watching these videos. This is a citation. I'm saying this is a citation and an intent to go to England with this itinerary to do business with our partner, our legal and legitimate King William IV partners. First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, as our legal partner in business to recover the debts owed to us from all the racket going on inside the Magistrate Court, our authority as the other missing partner <coughs> with our native title and our birth certificate title inside this writ warrant that we're going to force on the government here and all the corporations under the Crown Corporation agents of Queen Elizabeth II and Pope Francis and his Jesuits <coughs> gets this bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound note that the British are obligated to honour that debt owed to us is their partner and we shall make the deal on this matter with the Freemasons and those instruments they have used our information to form their titles that we are part of that process as the legal owners of the lands the legitimate and commercial land owners the native chiefs paramount right through the well. So that's all I want to say for now. Thank you very much. We shall see you later. Bye for now.